Hello, welcome to my August empties. This is my first ever empties video and my second ever empties post. So I actually really love these, uh, mainly because you get to see what people actually use, which is probably what I think I like most about them. Um, so yeah, this is my empties from August. Um, so I'll just start with kind of the boring stuff really. So we just got shampoo and conditioner here, which is the Herbal Essences Tossle Me Softly Pairing. You can see there if the sun will let you. It's another gorgeous day and I'm not outside, I'm in here shooting you a video. I hope you're welcome. Um, thankful. Something like that. I hope you're happy. Which other one? I don't mind now. Um, so yeah, this is just um, the Tossle Me Softly Shampoo and Conditioner for a tossled look. Um, it's really nice. Um, it smells nice. It's Herbal Essences and I'm a Herbal Essences fan. Um, however, I wouldn't say it's amazing. I don't love it. I like it. I wouldn't say I would probably buy this one particular again. I prefer the um, Hello Hydration pairing. And I think I just got this because I didn't have the Hello Hydration one. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. There's not really much more I can really say about it. It's just a shampoo and conditioner. It smells nice. It does the job. Apart from that, I wouldn't say it gives you a tossled look. It's just a shampoo and conditioner, really. Just does your usual usual jobby so I don't think it talks. Sorry. Um another little boring one is just a shower gel. So this is the Dove Visible Care Brightening Cream Body Wash. Um it was a Christmas present from last year and um if you're the same as me and you get a million and one um shampoos, shower gel oh you get shampoos. I get shower gels. <laughs> shower gels, perfumes, that sort of thing for Christmas. Um, I've only just got around to using a couple of them now. Um, I don't know if people are trying to give me a hint. I don't think I smell. I might do, you never know, maybe that's why they're giving me a hint. But, um, but no, this is the, the shower gel. It was quite nice, it really, it did moisturise actually. Um, however, I because I have um, the um, Intuition razors, is it Intuition? I have razors that have like little bars on the top which mean you're not meant to use shower gel with them. You just you sh no, you're not meant to use shaving gel with them, you can just use shower gel. Um, this didn't go so well with them, if I have to say it. My skin was not happy with it. Um, but apart from that, it was a nice shower gel. Um, just a your normal, your normal shower gel, really. As you can see, I'm very excited about my empties today. They do get more exciting, I promise. Just getting the boring ones out of the way. But yeah, just your normal shower gel. Um, I don't know how much it is, sorry, because it was a present, but um, yeah, I would recommend this if, you, if you've if got sort of normal skin, you don't need anything that's sort of getting used to it with that extra bit of moisture, um, and if you use shower, I would recommend using sh sh shaving gel with um, when, you're use when you're shaving in the shower, and um, with this stuff, I wouldn't just use this with it as it doesn't really protect your legs as much. Other than that, it was quite nice. I wouldn't say no to it again. Um, next up, we have um, some hairspray. It is the Wella Flex Silver Screen Brilliant Colours um, 5 second finish. I have to say, I probably wasn't the one that used most of this, it was my brother. It kept disappearing from my bathroom and I kept refining it in his. Uh, which clearly doesn't have that much hair, a little bit worrying. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, um, I was going to say it's a nice hairspray, but I wasn't actually that fond of it. I don't really like the smell um, and it did make it crispy sometimes, depending on how my skin was. I found if I used it when my hair was a little bit more greasy, then I used to make it quite crispy. If I used it just after it had, I'd washed it, then it wouldn't, but my hair would need washing very soon afterwards. It wasn't one of those ones that you can just brush out again, like, um, I have a Clinol Grip one, and that's a lot better. That's one of my favourites, actually. Um, but this one, it's not, I didn't love it. It's also a brilliant colour, so it keeps the colour brilliance. I really didn't notice the difference, if I'm honest, because I do colour my hair. And I'm bored with it, really. Um, no, it says it brushes out easily. Doesn't. Um, no stickiness, there's a little bit. So no, I, I wasn't that impressed with this one actually. I won't be repurchasing this one. I much prefer my final grip, so. Sorry, Wella. Well, this is one I actually like. Uh, this is a shampoo and conditioner combo. Um, these were actually in my favorite, my August favorites. Um, I took them to Dublin with me because they were the mini ones, and they're just the mini. Fuzzy Miracle Moists. Um, so just, uh, they're at £1.99 each from Boots. Um, I love them. 
they were really good. The only reason they've run out is because they only lasted for about three washes because they're teeny tiny. Um, but yeah, I will be repurchasing these next time I go into Boots because I loved it. I loved the smell. I loved the way it made my hair feel. I just absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a plus for me and it will be a repurchase and I'm really sad they've run out. So yeah, more exciting product. Next is this. Um, I dyed my hair towards the beginning of the month, a bit of a darker brown. It's pretty much gone now, I have to say. Uh, but it was the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Mousse, Sublime? Sublime Mousse um, and it was in 535 Luscious Hot Chocolate. You can see that there. So she's got lovely, lovely brown hair. Mine didn't really go that colour, it just kind of went a... It was a bit of a dull brown, if I'm honest. It had a little bit of... The reason I liked it is because if you look on the back, you can see it's got little, it's kind of like coppery ready hints in there and I quite like having that in my hair and I just found it didn't really do that. Um, so it was really nice to use, really really easy product to use. Went on really easily, it, you got all the conditioner with it as well which lasted a couple of goes which I usually find only lasts me one because my hair's quite thick. Um, so yeah, it was really nice, it was really easy to use, it was a nice product to use. Um, but it wasn't quite a nice colour as what I kind of wanted. And um, it's starting to, my colour's already starting to go a bit now, so. But it was a nice product to use, um, but I'd probably choose a different colour next time. So the product itself was good, I'm just thinking maybe a different colour. Yeah. Um, next up is a, another boring one, I really should have done this at the beginning. <laughs> it's a deodorant. So it's just my Dove Go Fresh roll on, um, if you can see that, if the sun will let you might be easy to see it from here. Um, I always go for roll-ons ever since someone told me that with the sprays, because it's got little bits of metal in there, they can clog all the bits in your underarms. And that really, really put me off. So ever since then I've been using roll-ons and it's usually a dove. Um, saying that, I have gone on to using a Shaw this time, but that was literally just because I had to rebuy it out in Dublin and Shaw was cheaper than dove. That was the only reason. Um, so yeah, stuff. it was a really nice deodorant actually, I really liked it, um, it's got a nice smell, it's cucumber and green tea, it, you can still smell it on there, I really did like the smell of that actually, it was really fresh and it was really refreshing when you put it on, um, and it's one of those ones where if you shave just before it and you put it on it doesn't sting, which is really good, so I will be getting another dove one um, when my short one runs out because I do like my short one, it's nice, and I'm actually finding it lasts a little bit more than the dove one. Um, but it stings after you put on your, after you shaved under your arms, so that's where Dub's willing for me a bit there. Next is this teeny tiny little one thing, and I'm surprised it's taken this long to use up actually because it came with the it was either May or June Glamour, whichever one had the benefit one. But yeah, but it's the little the mini professional. Again, the sun is not letting you really see it. There you go. That's a bit better. Um, so yeah, it's finally run out, which I think is fantastic. I think I've been using it nearly on every day, and it's been about two, three months. So, yeah. Um, I probably won't repurchase, just because of the price. It's usually about £23, and I'm pretty sure you can get a primer that will do the same. Um, this says that it helps minimise the appearance of pores. It didn't for me. It was literally just a primer for me, so in my head I can get a primer for half the price, so... Other than it was a good product, I really liked the product, it's just the price that puts me off a little bit, so but I'm really impressed that this little tube managed to last me about two months. Um, next up is this, it's one of my favourite products, it's not really, it's not really empty because it's a pencil, but it's pretty much gone, as you can see it's like teeny tiny now. Um, I have repurchased one in the Duty Free, it is a Chanel Intense Eye Pencil. I have been using this for about four years and I've never run anything to match it. It just goes on really easily, it doesn't smudge, it's a good colour. I just really like it. It's about £16 usually, so it is pricey, but considering this one's lasting me about two years, they start off about this long. So they are really long to start with. And they come with their own sharpener, which is good because the own sharpener that came with this is now broken. So yeah, I really really like this. I've got it in colour noir, which is black for you and me that aren't French. But yeah really really like this and um, have already repurchased and will keep repurchasing again and again and again. Then we've got the um, 
This is our Skin Repair Light Moisturiser for combination and oily skin. It's just one of their little mini ones, um, which I got. This sun is really annoying me, you can't see anything. There you go. That's a bit better. Um, I got it as a free sample when I repurchased um, Cleanse and Polish. Um, last time I did, I got a toner with it. This time I got the moisturiser. The toner I got when I first brought Cleanse and Polish is still going. It's nearly dead, but it is still going. It actually lasts longer than the moisturiser. Um, the moisturiser is really nice. However, I do prefer the Origins Zero Oil Lotion. Just because it's a bit better. Because I get quite really here... Um, and here, and here, which are most places around my face basically, and um, this just didn't really help with the oil, um, whereas the Zero Oil Origins one does. It's a really nice product, and it obviously it goes well with the cleanse and tone and the toner, which I use every day, but, um, and it smells nice. See, so, yeah, I was a bit gutted about that really. Um, it's really nice, but I, like I said, I wouldn't purchase it just because it didn't help my oily areas especially here it made it feel a lot more oily than it actually was and um, this is quite a lot more like a moisturizer than a lotion because it's a bit thicker and I have found that lotions actually tend to help my oily skin more I don't know if that's the norm but that's just what I found so getting on to my two last ones and they're both Clinique actually which is just a happy accident um, the first one is the Clinique High Length Mascara so it's another mini all my empties seem to be minis, there you go. Um, but I got this when they did their mascara swap in Debenhams. And um, I really liked it. Um, I have reviewed it, so that will be below. And if you're watching on YouTube, it will be the box below. Um, anything I've reviewed on anything I've got here will be on the box below. And if you're watching from the blog, if you click on the names of the products below, it will take you straight to my review. So. Yeah, this is really nice. I really, really liked this. Um, my only thing is it's not waterproof, um, but apart from that it was really nice. The um, brush was a bit scary. Um, I still maintain it looks a little bit like, uh, I was going to say dragon, but I think it's just because I've been reading Game of Thrones. Um, dinosaur, that's what I'm looking for. It looks a bit like a dinosaur's mouth. I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> it does look a bit like a dinosaur's mouth to me. Um, but apart from that, really nice. I couldn't use it on the bottom ones because of the brush. But the top lashes always looked really nice, so yeah, I was really chuffed with that actually. I would reconsider buying it. Um, I'm not sure how much it is for a normal one. If it's ridiculously expensive, probably not. Um, no, I would reconsider buying that because I did really like it. So yeah. And the next is just a little tester pot of Clinique foundation. Um, and it was, it doesn't look like it's empty, but it is, I can't get any more out there. And it was the um, a tester of their new Stay Matte foundation in number six ivory and I liked it so much I actually purchased it for duty free on my way back from Dublin. Um, I've had the little tester for about a month or so now um, and I really like it. I had a tester of Benefit's Hello Flawless one and I actually prefer the Clinique one. It just, it's a stain matte one and it's oil free. So for these bits and these bits and these bits it's perfect. Like I said I did buy it when I went to Dublin as well. Um, so I could actually have the thing as just this little pot and I'm wearing it today and usually foundations do make me feel quite oily here and it doesn't at all and it just feels really nice and matte and smooth and it just gives a really nice coverage so I have repurchased that one and I would recommend it if you do have oily skin it's usually about 23 50 I think so it's not cheap um, but it's actually really good and I kind of I compare that Clinique one to my Collection 2000. When I got the Collection 2000 I thought this is pretty much like the Clinique one. However, now I've got my Clinique one, it's nothing like the Clinique one at all and the Clinique one is oh. Uh I would say the Clinique one is more, it's more watery, whereas the Collection 2000 is a bit thicker. Um, so I guess the Clinique one for me it feels a bit more like a tinted moisturiser or a BB cream than an actual foundation so it's quite nice because it doesn't feel like you're clogging everything up whereas obviously if you use a foundation it can feel quite thick sometimes so yeah so that is my empties I hope you've enjoyed that and my little dinosaur impression I apologise about that um, if you've used any of these and you love them let me know um, if you'd like to let me know as well so yeah thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye